live from our studios here in central Moscow. This is RT with you 24 hours a day. The UK's Guardian newspaper is facing accusations of double standards from WikiLeaks. Its founder, Julian Assange, has threatened legal action against the British Daily over its tell-all book about the online whistleblower. The newspaper is also accused of editing secret cables it obtained from the site. Well, RT's Laura Emmett reports now on what's behind the bitter dispute. They were bedfellows in exposing U.S. embassy secrets to the world. But now WikiLeaks and The Guardian have rapidly fallen out of love, and it's turning nasty. In the original agreement between WikiLeaks and its partner publications, the partners were to help publish cables on the whistleblowing website. Blocking out names to protect the innocent was allowed. But sources close to WikiLeaks maintain The Guardian went one step further, accusing the newspaper of redacting the cables to suit its own political and editorial agenda, something The Guardian denies. One of the alleged omissions focuses on Iranian dissident politicians. The Guardian, which, as we said, is the left imperialist wing, they don't want such things to be known to their audience. They, want, they basically want to cut them out, and so they did. They cut out everything that was negative about the opposition. In such a way, the reader of The Guardian and eventually any reader of WikiLeaks would never know how those people themselves view their own leaders. The Guardian reports Ali Khamenei is... Just another political liar and intriguer. But what it leaves out is his wider description of the opposition as... Lacking organization and facing problems of ultimate direction and leadership. Specific opposition figures are... Musavi, stubborn but not charismatic. Karubi, courageous but with a few institutional allies. Hatami, cautious and weak. All editing that seems to match The Guardian's liberal agenda, as it suggests the Iranian opposition is divided, something which doesn't fit Western narratives. In cables about the activities of Western companies in Kazakhstan, The Guardian failed to publish details of alleged bribery. The actual cable talks of an internal investigation in a Western company over five years, during which... Former employees caused the company to pay $5.2 million to agents with the intent that these payments would influence Kazakh officials to allow the company to obtain business. In other words, bribing officials for contracts. Two of the companies allegedly involved are British Gas and any Italy's gas giant. That this isn't necessarily the story that The Guardian wants to tell, that, the, that there are editorial pressures on them, but it also could be simply that lawyers at The Guardian are getting a bit jumpy and saying, well, look, we can't accuse people of bribes because they're incredibly powerful and they're rich. And this is one of the problems with uh, the laws of libel um, and the lawyers at newspapers, is that they're actually only afraid uh, of the rich and powerful. Ordinary people, they will say almost anything about them because uh, they, the, these people don't have the means to sue the Guardian. Prince Andrew was khaki, verging en route in Kyrgyzstan. Although Britain's Prince Andrew may have wished the Guardian had edited information about his behaviour in Kyrgyzstan more thoroughly. Elsewhere, some media commentators say the reason for The Guardian's alterations was to help simplify the information. It's the only way it can be done. There's so much material, and it is so a lot of the, the form that it's in is, is difficult, to, inaccessible. Uh, it has to be translated into journalism that people can understand. The Guardian declined to give us an interview, but did send a statement saying they redacted cables for two reasons, to protect sources who might be placed at risk or to protect The Guardian from legal action under UK libel law. But being sued is something The Guardian might have to get used to. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange is threatening legal action over the newspaper's book, which Assange alleges contains malicious libels. WikiLeaks made a political choice when it decided to publish through The Guardian, a left-leaning newspaper that takes a liberal line. But certainly in this case it looks to have been the wrong one. And with The Guardian's recent publication of a book portraying the newspaper's dealings with WikiLeaks in a deeply unfavourable light, it's a relationship that's gone truly sour. Laura Emmett, RT, London. Three suspected